Hey guys, just wanted to come on and share a few words. I know it's been a crazy, crazy day yesterday and today just processing everything. But I just wanted to come on and share a few words of encouragement, especially to my volunteers and all those that I know who are just trying to process all of this. As you know, or maybe don't know, I spent five years in religious life. And religious, sisters, nuns, whatever you want to call them, monjas, you know, they spend their lives dedicated to three virtues, poverty, chastity, and obedience. And obedience is such a beautiful thing. And we actually took classes on that and, you know, dissected it in so many different ways. So whenever I came back home, I was so excited I don't have to be obedient anymore because I don't have a supervisor, you know, in the same way that it was. But Father Michael corrected me and said, no, you do still have to be obedient. And as Catholics, we know that we are obedient to the bishop. And it was such a beautiful experience for me. I was blessed to go to the rite of election last weekend at the cathedral where the bishop shared about what it was like whenever he had um, the laying on of hands and that he has the succession all the way back to St. Peter, that somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody all the way back encountered Jesus Christ personally and that he, he is in that in that lineage and being able to meditate on that while being at that event and then hearing his message yesterday I just really want to encourage you especially all the catechists who I know who are very passionate about the faith that's why you're my volunteers um, to just be obedient to him to our bishop who represents St. Peter who represents the Pope to us at our local community and if he has come out with the statement that he made he did it for a reason one he has information that we're not privy to so going against his wishes is not a smart decision frankly it's just not so I just encourage all of you I know it is a tough pill to swallow to say I will not be at mass tomorrow I understand that and I cry I cry about that but you know what we're doing it out of obedience. And you can look in the Bible for so many examples of biblical obedience. Um, it is just a powerful thing and there's grace in that. There is so much grace when you do what you are asked to do. So I encourage all of you, just as the bishop himself said, he could have just dispensed you from the obligation to go to mass, but he knew that you would go anyways, <laughs> which is why he canceled it. So I just encourage you to be faithful to our local ordinary, our bishop, and to respect his decision. And no, nobody has told me they're gonna start a revolution or anything, but I just have a feeling that <laughs> People are thinking of things and just want to encourage you to pray at your house and, and encourage. That was the early church was we prayed in our houses, you know, to just encourage you to take that prayer time seriously, to do the stations of the cross in your house and to just have that special prayer time with the Lord. Think of yourself as a hermit. You are going to be a cloistered nun for the next three weeks. You know, you can do it. I did it for five years. So, um... Just know that each one of you is in my prayers and I'm seeing your text messages um, and I hope that this video helps to respond to some of that. So I love you all and I'll see you soon.